If your factory radio is only compatible with Android Auto and not CarPlay, well I have the perfect dongle for you. Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with a very cool Android Auto dongle. And well, the only reason I say Android Auto dongle and not CarPlay is because unfortunately this is not yet compatible with CarPlay. I tested it on my aftermarket radio and you guys won't believe that it actually worked. Now this is also for factory vehicles that only come with Android Auto. And uh, this here is made by a company, uh, I think it is called CarPC. So they have this uh, generic box. This is a pre-production model, by the way. So that means that it might look a little different on the final release. And some of the features are actually blocked right now. So we are hopefully getting an update and uh, it will enable those features that are not yet enabled. I'll be talking about that here in just a second. So on the back side of the box, we can see that it says compatible with Android Auto. It has a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core CPU, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And check this out, it comes with built-in 4G LTE. So yes, you can install a SIM card on it, but as of right now, that particular feature right there is not yet enabled. And I think it has to do because of the software. And it comes with a built-in ceramic GPS antenna. We know that most dongles out there require a separate antenna to be installed. Sometimes on the fuse box of your vehicle, this one does not require that. Everything is built in into this tiny device that looks like a flash drive. To be honest with you, it looks like one of those memories you buy from the store and you simply plug it into your computer. That's what this looks like. And I think that's amazing because up until now, I always had all my dongles where they plug in with a wire and the dongle itself is just, uh, you know, just dangling around and this one doesn't have that, which is really cool. Now here it says compatible with CarPlay and that's definitely not correct. I tried this on my mom's Toyota Camry, which is the 2018 model and the radio wasn't able to read it. Yes, it is a Android Auto compatible device. It does support MirrorLink. So, so far we have those two features that maybe they're not enabled yet, which is CarPlay and also the built-in uh, 4G. Right now I needed a uh, micro size uh, adapter because uh, it doesn't come with the nano size SIM card uh, capabilities. So I have to find one of these old adapters that I had inside of my old treasury box. And uh, again, it wasn't working, unfortunately. So uh, let's not uh, get discouraged yet because uh, like I said, this is a pre-production model, meaning that it is not yet the uh, complete uh, product. And so here we have the device. So we get some vents here for cooling purposes. On the other side, we get the same thing. Uh, it does get warm, but not super hot. And on here, we have a uh, flash drive style USB connector. So you would just plug this in directly to your car. And on this side here, you can install a memory card as well, a TF card as we know it. And so it is a dual SIM, dual standby, but it doesn't support the nano size. So you have to get a micro um, size adapter. And that's how I was able to connect it. And uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, little tray here. And on the back side, we get the microphone. And this is uh, an LED. So once it is fully set uh, to go, it'll be solid blue and then it starts in orange. That means that it is booting up and that's pretty much it guys. Uh, it doesn't come with manuals, like I said, and I'll keep repeating this throughout the video. This is a pre-production model, so we didn't get any manuals, no uh, information about it. So I'm sure that this will change, but you guys can't deny the fact that this Kickstarter will be viral very soon because of the fact that it is just so tiny and it has 4G capabilities. It has, uh, you know, built in Android 9.0. And by the way, uh, this will right now only give you Android capabilities, meaning that you will have Netflix, uh, YouTube, the Play Store. And again, that's for Android Auto uh, compatible radios out there. 
Even if you have CarPlay, if your radio also supports wired Android Auto, then this will work perfectly well. And again, I just like the way it looks. Now, my mom's car, which is the 2018 Toyota Camry, at that point in time, they only started with CarPlay and not Android Auto, but I believe the newer Camrys uh, from 2022, I think it's 2021 actually, and above, they do support um, Android Auto. So this is also compatible for any vehicle out there that has that particular feature. And again, uh, this uh, will work for internet purposes. It will only connect to your hotspot on your mobile device. So you just simply enable it and supply internet to it. And that's how you will be able to watch things like Netflix, uh, navigate uh, you know, through the Play Store, download applications, and so on and so forth. So with this being said, guys, let's go to my car. In this case, I'm using my older car because it wasn't uh, able to work on my mom's car, as I said before. So we're gonna be using this on the Honda Pilot. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Alrighty, so here we are now outside, and this is the uh, dongle that I mentioned to you guys uh, that I tried here with the Toyota uh, Camry 2018. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have uh, Android Auto from factory, so it wasn't able to recognize it. However, with the older Honda Pilot here, I have the Atoto aftermarket radio. And I did install here this little uh, USB socket so that it makes it easier when plugging things directly into the radio. And surprising enough, it was able to recognize it. So what I will do now is go ahead and hook it up here to this radio. So let's see, I think it goes in like this. And the first thing that you will notice is that a blue light will turn on here in just a second. And so it will start blinking at first and then it'll stay solid. So when it stays solid, it means that everything has already booted up and you are all set to go. Now, this is ideal for those cars that sometimes only support Android Auto or you have both CarPlay and Android Auto. Well, this dongle here is really interesting because as you guys can tell, it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't require that many wires. It's not, uh, you know, bumping all over the place as you're driving like with other dongles that we have seen up until now. So this is a really, really cool idea. Uh, right now, you guys can see that the light went solid blue. Now, all we do here is open the application which is the one in charge for Android Auto and CarPlay. And you guys will see that it does recognize it. Now this is for, uh, I believe it goes up to eight inch screen. So it would do a cutout here on my radio, as you guys can tell. And it creates like a little line on the side. But yes, everything is working great. This is the operating system. And it comes again with Android 9.0. We have things here like settings. So you can do uh, phone connections such as uh, hotspots and whatnot. Uh, also, we get here audio. Now, going back here to the phone connection, when you have a SIM card installed, it'll give you the option for that particular SIM card. And this will only work with 4G networks. Keep that in mind. Then we got things here like automatic volume control, the uh, touch sound settings, you get the Bluetooth audio and things of that nature. Then we have here automatic uh, video shut off um, and we have just a few other settings that we can do. Uh, some of them are for security purposes. We got here just more and more uh, settings, safe touch. We get um, vehicles GPS in case you don't want to use the GPS built in into this device, then you can go ahead and use the car's GPS system. This is for those cars that already came equipped with smart radios. Then yes, you can use that as well. Uh, then finally, here we have uh, language and I have it set up for of course where I'm from, which is the United States and all the settings, like I said, are really basic easy to use so going back here to the home screen now keep in mind that I'm using an aftermarket radio so I can't click on this home because that'll take me to the radio's main screen I have to use here the home key directly from what it is displayed on the screen so we get things of course like YouTube all of this is working so let's go ahead here and connect to the hotspot so let's go here into let's see let's go into my hotspot settings and uh, personal hotspot uh, there we go we just confirmed 
so i think it has connected you can see right there the little icon so now if you go here into things like youtube and here we have it guys so everything again is working perfectly well let's go ahead and just play anything on here let's click on explore and i don't know let's just click here on sports real quick and there we go so let's click here on this video per se and now you guys can see that everything is working great again this is via hotspot okay now all the um, subtouch keys they hide once you're watching a video which is really cool and we even get a little shortcut screen here so that we can continue watching the video as we are navigating the system we get here also the play store and this is working as intended it is not so fast right now because honestly my phone doesn't have a lot of signal uh, i'm using it as a hotspot right now but you can see that again here the uh, play store is working just fine and you're able to download pretty much any application considering that we have a lot of uh, internal memory and ram as well so it should do quite well when handling a whole bunch of applications and also we get here the uh, gps test uh, this is for the internal gps on the system here itself uh, it does take a minute to lock but keep in mind that this is at the very bottom here of this car and uh, each car is different so depending on where your usb port is located it might get a faster uh, gps connection also here between the buildings i don't get the best reception either uh, because of the fact that the buildings are just all cramped up but again as you go more into the open spaces the gps does a whole lot better um, and yes guys i mean for the rest of this particular dongle we know how to use it you can download applications you can watch netflix now it comes already with a hacked netflix so i would recommend that you do not do the update as it will ask you so right here is asking me uh, which account i want to use and um, let's see let's click here on the refresh uh, let's use the one here for family so here we have all the movies available let's click on something like adam project and let's see if this is able to play uh, let's see let's click on it again let's click on play and it will ask you uh, if you want to update it as i said before do not update it otherwise it will not work this is a really cool dongle, especially if you guys don't like those big old boxes, uh, as we have seen in the past. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but some people, like myself, I'm a little OCD, I have to admit. So I like things that are not so crowded. Uh, this is a nice little unit here, guys. I'm telling you, if your car came equipped uh, with CarPlay and Android Auto, you have to make sure that it has Android Auto, even if it's wired, it doesn't matter. This will recognize it and it will give you everything that you guys um, are looking for on your radio basically you want a radio that is smart that it has android that you can play movies if you want to and this will give you exactly that we know that carplay alone and android auto doesn't do that but this basically just hacks into your system and uh, gives you this uh, feature which again is Android 9.0 and you can do a whole bunch of things with it so I think that with this uh, particular uh, video you guys can see how well uh, this works and how you can use it uh, to improve your experience with your current uh, infotainment system and i have to say guys this is 100 percent worth it uh, the one that i have right now is a pre-production uh, model that i received from this company car pc uh, they will be releasing uh, the official version uh, very soon um, this is the box as i showed you guys before it's a nice clean little box and uh, yes they have it on a kickstarter uh, type of deal to see how well it does because again this is something totally new and i just simply love the fact guys of how small it is i mean it doesn't even get hot or anything i haven't tried anything really uh strong with it like uh, video games or anything of that nature but i have to say this thing is quite cool all the way around uh, so with this being said guys uh, we have now completed the unboxing um, the setup process and the semi review here of the car pc dongle 
uh, this is the new model for 2022 uh, let me know down below what you guys think let me know if there's a vehicle that you would like me to try this uh, with and I can rent any car I don't mind uh, and have it tested to see if that particular vehicle uh, you know will accept this uh, dongle so again with this being said like the video uh, please share the video click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this subscribe and I'll see you on my next one